All right, so here we go. Convex. It's so funny how the first two people that become convex earthers and make their name on YouTube seem to be fanatic um, shields. <laughs> shields. Yeah, they're just fanatic shields. I think that's the best way to uh, say that. It's so. It, it's still more of the disinformation and half truths and models that don't quite work. Uh, my biggest question about the model, and um, maybe you guys can think about it too, if the sun, which I do go outside and I do see the sun rays, and I do measure the sun not being any further than a, maybe 100 miles, just going out there and using trigonometry. Uh, go out there and do it, take out your old, dust off your old, uh, old geometry book and measure those angles of the sun if on a partly cloudy day and you'll you'll know exactly how far the sun is up from your point and it could be anywhere from 70 to 100 miles really depending on where you're at on the earth um moving on from there i believe the sun is hanging a lot lower and they the southern hemisphere would not be able to see a sun that could be seen in the northern hemisphere i mean if you think about it even on a on a convex concave like if it's a low sun is there can the southern hemisphere see the same sun as the northern hemisphere it's kind of a tough question because how, how bendy is your bendy light mr. bendy light person like can light from the sun that can be seen in the northern hemisphere 100 miles up be seen in the southern hemisphere if you know something about to be spoken about trig and angle of the sun and seeing where it's at I, I do believe there's multiple suns and we don't all see the same sun they're just spaced out accordingly to where you can believe whatever why else do they want this, everything around the equator to be either a war zone or a desert you, you notice even Malaysia, they try to make that into a war zone. Vietnam, Australia, they want to be a prison, but Australia is far enough south. They don't want people in the south either. Uh, if you notice, like they they made that mistake with South Africa and Australia. Be prepared for that to stay a third world, or go back to being a third world if they came out. Uh, they don't want it. They don't want us down there because you can see too much. So, anyways. All that being said, I believe there's multiple suns in this concave earth that we live on. Another question, does the inside, does the sun have to be the one spinning? Like, they we're running into some issues with the stars and the sun and the moon and the views. Is there also the possibility that we still can be spinning? Just slow down and think about it. Like. How crazy has this dude gone? He doesn't believe in a spinning ball, but he believes in a spinning hollow earth. Wait one second. Just just slow down. What if it's just centripetal force is gravity? <gasps> Maybe? It seems like it would uh, fit the bill. Hmm. Anyways driving around my RV. Let's take some more pictures and some more measurements. Put something together really nice for you guys. Um, hoping this is building process. Uh, next year is probably when I'm really going to tackle it. The world's not going to change in a year. Thank you all for sticking with me even though I haven't even started. <laughs> uh, yep. I am Flat Earth 8 on Twitter too. Don't think that just because I have an account called Flat Earth, I'm a Flat Earther. <laughs> That's my that's my pull you out of the normal realm of science. Science, the religious, the the Jesuit sciences that we all study nowadays. Thank you all. Peace.